Hi, I'm Jean, a second year PhD student here at the Computer Science Department of ETH Zurich, and I build hardware accelerators for the data center. So the motivation for my work comes from these two conflicting trends that we have in the era of big data. With our online presence, we're consuming and generating ever more content, and of course, if you want to learn from this data, then it needs to be processed. The processors, however, that we use are not getting much faster. There has been a stagnation in the performance of modern multi-cores for quite a few years now. So what we do in our group as a solution is to look at specific algorithms or even whole applications and to translate them into accelerators which are able to carry out these operations in hardware. As a result of this specialization, we do gain performance, but we also reduce the power consumption dramatically. And the reason for this comes from the fact that these hardware accelerators will only contain the logical resources necessary for carrying out their tasks, so they will consume less energy than a regular CPU or server machine would. For prototyping, we rely on FPGAs, which are much like custom-built integrated circuits, but they can be reprogrammed many, many times, and this makes them deployable in the data center. An example of such a project that we had in our group is a statistical processor that sits in the data path between storage and the application and computes different statistical properties of the data as it is flowing through. The application in its turn can use the information to take better decisions on how to process and to manage the data. The main benefit of using dedicated hardware in this case comes from the fact that it allows us to use the pipeline parallelism inside the algorithm so we can execute the different steps of the algorithm all in parallel. If you're interested in this kind of research and want to find out more about our FPGA projects, then follow the links at the end of this video.